Hey viewers, it's the one and only Adventure Link here. Hey, coming back at you with another unboxing from my garage. Yeah, you get a little sneak peek in my garage here. Again, hmm. let me know how you like it because I might start doing some unboxings in here too rather than in my room. Who knows? Well, today we have this RS transformable car from Raystar. Um, I was given this uh, car on a significant discount i joined the group called sierra's killer deals i'll have a link to this and the product in the video description let's get on to it <clears throat> obviously the first thing you want to do is uh turn the box around you've got two tabs pull the tabs okay so one was easier than the other there we go after enough fighting i get this one out too Then we got one. Of, then we got some tape here that we need to fillet or peel back. Now I guess we can actually get inside here. Nope. Nope. More tape. Yep. Looks like we got a piece. Right around here, that needs to be peeled back. And while I'm on taping both sides here, I just want to say that if will that, that if it will be is or was your birthday, then congratulations and happy birthday. Get out there and make it a good one. I mean, who doesn't like to be with happy birthday on their birthday, right? There's one side. And we're going to work on this side over here. Fingernails can only get you so far. But I think after the struggle... Alright. Now... We're in. Flip that, flip back this part, then you flip back the hinges here, or these other two flaps anyway. Then we're going to turn the box over like so. Then I guess, um, just keep shaking the box out until, until the box comes out of the box, you see. Or we can just keep shaking it up and down like so. That's fine too. Yay! And you just pull... Pull this up, pull back, and there it is. Got your controller here, battery pack, a USB charger here. You can put this end into a USB charger, wall outlet, whatever. And last but not least, we have the grand prize, which is our car. Yay! So that's it for the unboxing. That's what it looks like out of the box. Let's go find some instructions, set this up, and start playing. Okay, this is the front side of the instruction manual. Feel free to pause the video. If you want to read over it better, this is probably about as clear as I'm going to get it. Just say so you no, know, I still found it in the box. It wasn't in the part that held the RC car in. It was in the outer part, just buried. Back side of the manual, again, pause the video. If you want to read over the instructions, this is about as clear as I'm gonna get it. Okay, so it's playtime now. This little remote control takes three AAA batteries. There's a battery compartment. You will need like a jeweler screwdriver or something to get inside. 
Now watch when I turn this on. On off button where my thumb is, by the way. Now it's going to be where my finger is. Pretty cool. Now, we're going to turn the car on. Now, beware because it's going to say something when I power it on. Ready? Go. <laughs> Almost reminds me of something you hear off the Fallout game. One of those big fat bot things. Shoot, I forgot the name. I'll put it in the uh, video when I edit this. All right, so we got the toy in front of me. Now, I've just learned something off of these uh, buttons here. Buttons. As you can see, we have a uh, left and a right red button. When I push the right button, the robot will turn into the car. Of course, you gotta push and hold it, or else it's gonna stall, stall in. Of course, it's gotta play that little sound. And the same deal for the left side, only the left side makes it turn into the robot. And of course, push and hold it to make it turn, into, turn fully into the robot. Uh, just as a fair warning, don't push the button in for longer than what you have to, otherwise it'll do this. It'll start clicking and probably strip something out, so um, don't do that. Also, these uh, stick, the left and right sticks, the left stick is up and back, or forwards and backwards. The right stick is left and right, but it's a twist. Push the right stick in, and it does this. Normally, you need to push both the sticks in to make it go. So apparently, I guess these sticks work independently of one another, which is pretty cool. Fun's over. It's tipped over. That means I gotta start stand it back up again. Okay, this is the header of the charger here. As you can see, it's just a standard USB end. You can plug it into any kind of a USB adapter. These are the adapter specs. Takes in 5 volts at 2 amps and spits out 4.8 volts at 250 milliamps. More than enough to recharge this battery, I suppose, or else that's why they wouldn't have packed it in. And as you can see, it flashes red, I guess to indicate the charge. It'll probably go solid when it's done or do some other color, I suppose. Yeah, I find that the door here, you know, just doesn't want to stay shut. Because I've found that sometimes this door would still come open even during use. Just slide open just like that. Um, this little knob here. I don't know if it's just me or if I'm doing something wrong. But this thing is impossible to turn. Tried everything I could think of. Keys, fingernails, screwdrivers. And this thing just won't budge. Meh, oh well. I'm not fighting with this anymore. Overall, what can I say about this product? Well, it's not that I busted the car up. I guess this thing has some kind of problem shutting down all the way. 
because as you can see these doors are still wide open like this and I can't you know get them to actually stay all the way shut oh yeah that's a problem <laughs> also the battery door down here that thing right there the it's kind of hard if not impossible to turn so I can't get this thing to lock and it just keeps wanting to do that yeah see how I'm holding the car just like this that's the only way this thing's staying down unless I you know release all the pressure on my hand and it you know just comes up long enough to make all the doors and all that stick out again so like I said I'm still not sure what's going on here but if this is, you know, a build quality thing, you know, build quality and all that, you know, this thing can't even close all the way, you know, that's, and if that could be improved for sure. Also the little knob down here and why this battery door just won't stay shut. I find that disconnecting and reconnecting the rechargeable battery is kind of a pain. For $43, I'll be honest with you, overall I had fun with the car in spite of its character defects shall we say <laughs> but you know if you're going to be super perfectionist about all these little flaws you know i would probably advise just to look elsewhere i would definitely at least give it a, at least three and a half stars out of five because like i said i still had a lot of fun with this and i want to incorporate this in rc car adventures and this is not as you know much a serious business compared to this compared to my RC truck. So, you know, at least for the fun factor and all that, in spite of all its flaws, that's why I would at least give it a 3.5. Still had fun with it. But if you're, you know, looking for perfection right now, eh, it's probably wouldn't be a good fit overall. I mean, I'm, you know, being honest here, all my opinions and testing, you know, that's all me. I'm not paid to do this. I wasn't, you know, paid to persuade anyone on how good, of, good or bad of a product this is. All opinions are my own. All experiences are my own. So I guess this concludes the RC car by Rastar, the little robot car RC car review. I'm Adventure Link. Thanks for watching. Special thanks goes out to Sierra's Killer Deals all the same for hooking me up with this deal. It was a good deal. I got on a significant discount. So, yeah, you know, not to bad. I mean, I'm not trying to badmouth anyone, but, you know, these things do happen. And, you know, with my track record on review items, you know, it's not very often that I wouldn't, you know, give it be so negative about an item. But because mostly everything's work, but, you know, you will get these little kinks and stuff like that. It happens. This is cold hard truth, you know. Like I said before, the product link to the car and Sierra's Killer Deals will be in the video description on Facebook. She offers a lot of good deals there. I would advise you still join up. Although the deals do go fast. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. Your rates and comments tell YouTube if I'm doing a good job or not. And give feedback and helps keep the video relevant and bumped up and all that stuff. When you subscribe to me, you can see the new videos I throw up on YouTube in your weekly YouTube emails and in your YouTube news feeds. Don't forget to share it with your friends, family, everyone else that would be interested in an RC car are all the same. You know, your experiences may vary. I still think this could be a worthy Christmas or birthday present because, I, like I said, I still had a lot of fun with it. And if we could tune out all the um, all the body stuff and all that, you know, that'd be awesome as well. Um, guess that's it. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty, as Eric the Car Guy would say. And thanks again for watching. Thanks again for supporting my channel, past, present, and future. Have a good one.